working now. Welcome, everyone. This is the Jenkins Documentation Special Interest Group. It's the 30th of August, 2019. Um, let's go through our agenda today. Thanks very much for being here. I'm going to share my screen. So today's agenda includes, a, and this is just a review first, and then we'll actually run the agenda. So a report on previous action items, discussion of collaboration with other special interest groups, hosting the Jenkins REST API specs on Swagger Hub, adding a plugin site to GitHub integration subproject from Oleg, and then community bridge subprojects for docs from Oleg, and if time allows, we can talk about the latest data from the contributors to the site based on some reports that I regularly gather. Any other topics that need to be added to the agenda? Okay. I guess and, Mark would have a topic about documenting infrastructure, but yeah, maybe it's a rather for infrastructure subproject. Yeah, that may be through cross SIG communication for docs, possible. Uh, okay, all right. Well, let's put it in there. So, documenting the infrastructure. Good, good, good topic. Okay. Yeah. Mark, did I spell that correctly? Lowercase t. Oh. Uh, and and Marky Jackson is one word. Oh, oh. I'm getting it wrong. Like that. And then the M and the J is lowercase. Ah, okay. Got so it. you're just, just changing uh, the name to GitHub ID. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. I'll fix it. I can fix it later. Excuse me, not getting things exactly right. No, no worries. I'm also on there. I can fix it too. I may have edit. Super. So in terms of action items, I've still got the open action item to get the docs project ideas. I've gathered a couple more ideas. So there are more things growing in, in mind. I will get those posted. Uh, Oleg and I have decided that we're not going to bother with reviewing the Google Summer of Docs topics again. Um, we'll take that up as we get closer to Google Summer of Docs. Is that a fair statement, Oleg? Uh, yes, but partial, because yeah, even if we stop uh, talking about Google Season of Docs, uh, there are two programs uh, which are coming soon. So for example, uh, there is Outreach with deadline uh, late next week. And there is also community bridge uh, below, and both topics basically are always the same in terms of projects. Ah, okay. So project ideas are helpful no matter what, and and consider them in the context of outreachy and mm -hmm. and community bridge. Thanks. Yeah. But this thing then then be retained. Do you want me to just delete this one? And yeah, I think I'll just delete it. Okay. We really need to, to create project ideas page um, but yeah firstly we need to find contributors in this oh. great all right so a doc sig summary we've been doing that to highlight progress for governance we'll continue doing that that feels like it's just a standing action item i'm not sure if we need to leave it in the action item list i guess i'll leave it for now Okay. Next topic, collaboration with other special interest groups. So any specific items here, uh, Google Summer of Code, for instance, Oleg from you or Marky from you? Uh, from, uh, from the documenting of the infrastructure side part, I have, uh, I'm being onboarded uh, and right now I'm starting to document uh, how our Kubernetes infrastructure looks in Azure. Mm -hmm. And the next part that I will probably start working in terms of documentation will be documenting the monitoring infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Now there's a lot more to do. 
Uh, but that's just kind of where I've decided to throw myself in. Yeah. Just uh, some bits, I started documenting the plugin site ecosystem. Though, yeah, plugin site ecosystem was already documented pretty well, I would say. Uh, yeah, I'm just uh, doing some refactoring and uh, grouping of the documentation because it was split across uh, three repositories. And yeah, it may also contribute. Excellent, thank you. Any other SIGs that are active uh, we should consider connecting and, and encouraging? Uh, to write documentation specifically? Correct. Uh, so, yeah, for, so regarding SIGs, uh, yeah, we have uh, Chinese localization SIG uh, and they keep uh, translating the uh, Jenkins IO website. They start moving some documentation to Chinese. So, yeah, but uh, it happens within Chinese localization SIG and definitely not within the uh, infrastructure part. Oh, uh, right. Right. Uh, regarding uh, other six, uh, yeah, to be honest, I'm not aware about uh, activities which would be specific to the documentation. So yeah, we indeed uh, could do something in platform seek. For example, uh, I have a long-standing action item to document uh, Windows support policy and propose it as a job. Because right, and right I now got... we just don't have Windows support policy. Um, well, and I have the long-standing action item for Docker or for um, Docker image support policy. Yep, good. Okay, thanks for that reminder. Yeah, but yeah, basically since uh, both me and the Mark are in both six, so we just uh, drag our action items from one six to another. Right, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay, anything else on collaboration with other SIGs? Not SIGs, so regarding sub-projects, um, yeah, there might be some investment in the JCASC documentation. Ah. Yeah, because uh, Jenkins configuration documentation uh, could be improved. Uh, there is a lot of community pull requests uh, going into this documentation. But we can definitely could do more. So it could be one of the projects for documentation seek actually. Great. Yeah. Quick question that I have. Is there or do we have any interest in reaching out to maybe plugin maintainers for possibly documenting their plugins. I don't know if that falls into what we're talking about in this SIG. I will talk about it a bit later because uh, there are some uh, related activities. Awesome. Thank you, Olaf. Yeah, so it's just two items below. Great. Yeah. So anything else on this topic before we move on to the Jenkins REST API topic? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's a the, let's go on. There's a current there's a proposal recently raised by Abu Ja Sharma suggesting that we consider hosting REST API specifications on Swagger Hub. Uh, there's a proposal thrub thread in the uh, Jenkins developers mailing list and an example that has been created on Swagger Hub. I've opened an account on has opened and has created an organization. Mm -hmm. Jenkins, whoops, Jenkins, on Swagger Hub. It's a 14-day trial is all. I assume that means that they want to charge for it. I've sent the mail asking them if they would be willing to donate so that we could host as an open source organization without being charged mm -hmm. for it. Uh, yeah, so Swagger Hub is hosted by SmartBear. Correct. Smart Bear, uh, yeah, they're actually somewhat active in Jenkins community. They maintain uh, plugins for Jenkins. So they were sponsoring the Jenkins Wolf, if I recall correctly, at least once. So yeah, they might be uh, open to that. And yeah, for organization, it would be really interesting. 
the problem is that uh, that yeah, right now there is no way to automatically generate uh, uh, REST API specification for Jenkins plugins. Um, it was one of the project ideas for Google Summer of Code this year. Uh, we just didn't get uh, applications we could uh, have accepted, but the project idea is still there. So it might be again reused uh, in community bridge, in outreach, in JSOC 2020. Uh, so let's see. But yeah, the project today we have a mentor team uh, uh, potentially for that. So if somebody is interested, to just let us know. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. And could you envision that there during this trial that we could we could do a test drive with things interactively created the way Abudya did, even without having the automatic generation from the the project idea? Uh, yes, we could. So if you just need to take several plugins, which are heavily used as REST APIs, and uh, create a Swagger specification for them manually, is something we can do. Or somebody, for example, could start documenting the Jenkins core, because the yeah, Jenkins core REST APIs are more structured. Mm. So, yeah, I was I was thinking I was going to uh, engage Abudya over the weekend and try to document the notify commit API for the Git plugin, for instance, and see if I could get some experience with one little thing, but it's a little thing that I'm somewhat familiar with. Yeah. So yes, yeah, Swagger is uh, pretty simple actually. Uh, okay. Even a generation from Stepler, well, at least the generating skeleton of Swagger shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, but ah. uh, it's just a question of somebody working on that. Great. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else on the Jenkins REST API on Swagger Hub? Okay, the next topic. Mm -hmm. additional, an additional plugin site to GitHub integration subproject. Oleg, do you want to take a, the lead on that? Uh, yeah. Uh, so, do you want to share? Let me go share the screen. Sure, that'd be great. Uh, just a second. I'll ensure that you didn't. Oh, I have Slack open. Okay. Uh, just a second. So now I can screen share, I believe. Okay. Do you see my screen? We do. Okay, so yeah, this is what I was referring to when Mark asked about uh, plugin documentation. So one of the problems uh, Jenkins project has is that now almost all plugin documentation is some way in the wiki. So for example, we can Google for Mark's Git plugin, Git plugin wiki. Yeah, right. you can go there, you can discover that uh, there is a lot of historical documentation and you can fill the first problem. Time to access this documentation uh, is quite long. Then if you want to edit this documentation, there is a capture, yeah, there is no uh, review process, uh, there is basically no recognition for contributors. Um, and yeah, it's an old way yeah, which is hard to manage. Uh, but many plugins has already started moving to GitHub. So basically documentation as support is, is a thing. And yes, even several years ago, we had a lot of documentation uh, being hosted on uh, GitHub. So for example, I can take the configuration code plugin as an example. Uh, so, so I just realized that uh, Zoom's panel has exactly the same background color as a uh, GitHub uh, header. And yeah, I was just confused. Okay, uh, so yeah, here you can see that uh, there is documentation which is basically located in GitHub now. And yeah, it's pretty common for many plugins and uh, plugins gradually move to GitHub even now. And the problem for us is that uh, this GitHub documentation is not easily accessible uh, to Jenkins users. So for example, uh, the links uh, going from uh, from uh, plugin documentation, etc., they basically uh, put a, a point to plugins Jenkins.io. So this is a uh, plugin site. 
And here, what you can see, for example, for configuration as code. Uh, documentation for this plugin is here. Uh, configuration as code plugin. Uh, well, you can follow the link and then you will get there, but yeah, obviously it's not uh, the best uh, outcome. Sometimes uh, generation of this page also takes time because uh, basically it's uh, been retrieved from Confluence API on demand. So performance is pretty bad. And uh, the idea is that what if we just uh, embed uh, uh, GitHub documentation uh, straight in the plugin site, straight in uh, Jenkins update sites, uh, Jenkins user interfaces. Um, uh, and yet, yeah, again, it's not a new idea in uh, 2016 when we were running the Google Summer of Code first time in Jenkins project. We already had a project for GitHub to plugin site documentation publishing. The problem that it has never been fully completed. Um, uh, there is uh, there is a pull request uh, from Zbigniew uh, who actually uh, wanted uh, to publish uh, documentation. Uh, so yeah, this is GitHub repo documentation. But uh, yeah, when I started working on uh, this story uh, two months ago, um, basically for me it started from release drafter because I wanted uh, to have change log automation and I want change logs to be also published on this site. Uh, so at some point I just converted it uh, to the APIC uh, about supporting documentation and change logs from GitHub. Plus uh, there are other uh, relatively low hanging fruits, for example, uh, posting plugin logos, if you have some. For example, Mark could uh, post a Git plugin log or uh, yeah, something like that. Um, so yeah, just to make it look better. And yeah, also label integration because currently plugin label are partially defunct. Uh, in a plugin site uh, because labels either come uh, from uh, wiki and the wiki is not well uh, uh, maintained in terms of labels or from uh, metadata in the update site which is hard to manage so if you were able to pull this information from github it would be also preferable so, so yeah that, yeah i'm not sure i understood on the labels what what labels what sorts of labels do you envision there Okay, so let's see. So here you have a list of categories. Uh, you can uh, you have a list of uh, things, and basically these categories come from labels in the update set. So for example, you can go to let's say build tools. I have no yeah, and you get something like 100 plugins. Okay, that's cool. Uh, yeah, probably I need uh, to offer example with uh, less uh, results. Okay, so for example, yeah, should be somewhere here. Okay, it looks like, like yeah, I broke something. So yeah, anyway, the problem that uh, all these labels are kind of manually managed, uh, they either uh, wiki, there is no user relevant categories. Uh, for example, uh, yeah, we have .NET, we have iOS, Ruby development, but for example, we don't have category for Java developers uh, or something like that. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, hard to understand what's from where and if we were just uh, using uh, a more relaxed way to label plugins, like uh, GitHub labels, uh, topics, uh, it would uh, actually help a lot, though yeah, it would require significant investment in the aligning them. It's just the uh, idea from the top of my head. Right now, I rather want to focus on um, getting the Zbigniew pull requests over the line because yeah, it submitted them uh, in May, but basically there was no activity. Um, and yeah, I want uh, to have bigger story uh, completed. And yeah, that's why I propose it as a sub-project for documentation seek because yeah, I think it would be important. Uh, firstly, for better plugin documentation, uh, then for recognition, because yeah, what we have that, uh, for example, if you go to configuration as code, is our automated change logs and here are documentation updates. So uh, they're exactly the same. They also get to the ch uh, change logs, provide information to users, and the, the most important issue that uh, documentation can be developed in parallel with code, because yeah, it's now documentation as code. So. To answer your question, Marky, my preference would be to yeah to advertise uh, better documentation, but yeah, better documentation which would be a part uh, of 
uh, GitHub repositories and which would uh, provide ways provide ways to review the documentation because right now anybody can go to git plugin and basically vandalize this page if they want fortunately it doesn't happen so often but yeah we had cases when somebody is replacing pages with advertisement so yeah having, <clears throat> yep yeah having, so uh, yeah my question would be mm -hmm. uh so first first of all just to add uh, to to plus one mm -hmm. what you're saying I think this is an awesome plan. It, it, mm -hmm. it would, I think it really goes to, if we start moving to sort of a Git ops style uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, of infrastructure, I think that'd be awesome. Uh, number two, the what, what question that I do have is the particular page that you're on right now, will we be deprecating the use of this page? Because what my fear is, is that with this still being edible, editable, not edible, uh, people will still be able to edit that site and if it might create confusion. So yeah. what I would suggest is if it's possible and we do go to the Git changelog style that updates the plugin site, we deprecate this, this particular wiki site, if that's possible. Oh, well, deprecating the entire wiki site, uh, it's unlikely possible because it's about uh, solvents of repositories. And yeah, even if you have all Jenkins contributors uh, working on migrating documentation, it will take a while. Uh, there is no good automated documentation migration from Confluence uh, to GitHub. I tried a few options. I didn't like any of them. Uh, but yeah, we can do something from the organization level. So for example, you can install a plugin for Confluence, dumping everything to Markdown or Skidoc and get it published. But yeah, we still need to get to it. So what I do right now, so that is labeled verified plugin. You can see that it was updated you know, on July 20th. And basically what I did, I just moved all the documentation um, to GitHub. So to two places, one is GitHub releases where now I have change logs. And another one is just the root where I have uh, documentation which used to be uh, on the wiki page. And here okay. we have uh, clear uh, disclaimers. And yeah, later, if needed, we can set up redirect or just uh, put a big box saying that uh, everything was moved outside. Beautiful. Okay, that that that's fine. That answers my mm -hmm. question. And and that sort of incremental transition is what I've used in the Git plugin as well for the change log. I think others are doing the same thing, right? I didn't even bother to put the the old change log entries into GitHub. I just put a tombstone at the top of the change log which says all future change log entries are here and they link to github so yeah, uh, i moved the label verified because uh, they were just four releases mm. or something like that so it wasn't a big deal to just move that uh, but yeah in some plugins we have hundreds of releases and uh, for example for an inject i just uh, added the link like mark said it's not ideal but uh, well whatever works Got it. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so regarding the current status, so yeah, there is some uh, tooling for release drafter, which is uh, evolving in a separate project. So this one works pretty well. Uh, Zbinix pull request, uh, it's uh, ready to go. So I'm waiting for Olivier to help with infrastructure. There is pull request to Jenkins Infra and Jenkins GitHub tokens, because we need to retrieve information from GitHub um, and yeah. It needs tokens, otherwise it's uh, too slow. Uh, yeah, I didn't prepare a live demo, but I can show you an example of uh, the recent uh, folder-based uh, authorization plugin. So one uh, which was created by Abude. And you can see that uh, this is just a screenshot of uh, the current state of a plugin site API. Uh, it's a backend repository which serves uh, the information to front-end. And today you can see that information has been just retrieved from uh, uh, GitHub. Um, if you go to the this page right now, so, so it uh, would look like something like that. Yeah. So these pages are pretty embarrassing because it's a landing page. So adding some documentation there wouldn't hurt. Okay. So yeah, this project is basically in progress. I would be interested if there are contributors and early adopters. Actually, yeah, once we have an infrastructure in place, we will have something like 20 or 30 plugins with information being pulled from GitHub. 
because we just rely on the URL specified in the metadata to understand uh, what is uh, the source of documentation. Uh, but yeah, uh, going forward, uh, once we have change logs to the, and other things, it might, might require some update. So when you say URL in the metadata, which, which metadata is it so that I can make sure, for instance, that the Git plugin documentation and others like it will be will be pointed is it something in the palm xml file yeah it's in palm xml so okay. basically we rely, we rely on this url so your url points to wiki and in your case wiki will be displayed um, okay. in the case of uh, this plugin for example folder authorization so it already includes um, a reference uh, to github uh, in metadata but it still displays wiki because uh, there is no github um, but uh, yeah, once we have uh, the engine in place, it will start displaying GitHub and uh, all plugins which have URL pointing to GitHub here, they will start uh, displaying uh, documentation from GitHub. Obviously, so we, yeah. The credentials plugin, for instance, has a, a very nice set of documentation inside of it. Um, and all it would need is that its URL attribute points to points to that and mm. then it's and it currently points to the wiki so it could be taught though to if if this plugin were changed and pointed to its own documentation then that will be extract conceptually would be extracted into the plugins.jenkins.io site that's the idea yes yeah that's the idea so original Apache from Zbigniew, uh, there were some glitches with it because, uh, yeah, our problem that uh, if you use GitHub uh, API, basically you can get um, a readme page or any other page in a view-ready format. Uh, but uh, this uh, view-ready format uh, relies on related teams. Uh, so you can adjust and uh, adjust this data to plugin site. You need for, uh, to replace URLs, for example, to images or to internal references. So there were some glitches with it, which I was fixing. But uh, right now, I believe it's ready to go. Like so the, that pull request then needs testing and verification steps and then merge and we watch what happens? Well, uh, basically, I tested it as being tested it. And we agreed that it's good enough. Okay. So, yeah, there was a branch here. I'm waiting for infrastructure team to enable the release drafter because there are other changes. Uh, but, yeah, basically, this is uh, the, main, the biggest change we integrate. And yeah, it's already in a, in a master branch. Oh, actually, it's not. So, yeah, there is a promotion pull request. Uh, the build is green. So, I'll probably just integrate it. Um, and after that, We'll need to update Jenkins infrastructure. And for Jenkins infrastructure, there is a pull request, which I forgot to link here. Um, just Jenkins infra. Um, yeah, I believe it's Jenkins infra, Jenkins infra. infra. Uh, yeah, this one. So this is a pull request which basically injects uh, in GitHub client metadata. And uh, yeah, once we update uh, Docker container, because your yeah, plugin site is packaged uh, in Docker. So once we merge uh, these two pull requests, it should start magically working. Uh, but yeah, basically the only test uh, way to test it right now is to test it in production. But yeah, in the worst case, it will be a really a simple fix to revert it. Okay. it. So yeah, this story is almost ready to go. Uh, hopefully, we'll have a live demo at the next SIG meeting. But yeah, the biggest story, I uh, was wondering what is the level of interest from uh, documentation contributors. Because yeah, once uh, it's uh, integrated, we can uh, May do a lot with documentation. We can create maybe hundreds of newbie friendly tickets for migration of documentation and clean up. Uh, we can do many other things if needed. Right. Well, that that would enable the me to have a place now to express 
all of the different details and tiny little pieces that are involved in the plugins I maintain, right? There are things that, that aren't described anywhere right now, except in the online help and that online help is insufficient. So, so mm -hmm. this, this is an ideal thing. I'm very interested in it. Thanks. So like very, very. Okay. So yeah, if anybody is watching that, uh, please feel free to contribute. There is a bunch of other stories. But yeah, to long didn't read, uh, we recovered some activities around plugin set. So basically, it was more or less stale since Jenkins 2.0. Uh, but yeah, apparently, the development flow is pretty easy. So uh, there is front end, there is back end. Uh, well, and okay, with my li very limited uh, knowledge of whatever front end stuff, I was able to get it running and to apply some patches. So. Yeah, I think that it's pretty hackable uh, if you get support from the infrastructure team. That's great news. Thank you. Thanks very much. Okay, so that's it from me. Thank you. All right, so we'll plan for a report two weeks from now on how that's gone. Next topic was community bridge subproject for docs. And Oleg, I think that's again you. Yeah, so... Yeah, one of uh, the reasons why we started uh, talking about uh, community bridge was uh, Google season of docs because we were not accepted uh, last spring. Uh, last spring, so we can use community bridge um, to run projects, and we already have a kind of framework for that. So now there is a student uh, sliding units working on uh, JCask. It's uh, the first project we run on community bridge. Uh, basically, the format is pretty similar to Google Summer of Code, though we don't have restrictions about what can be handled there. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we can use it uh, to run documentation projects. But uh, to run documentation projects, we need mentors and we need a list of project ideas. Great. So, yeah, here's the question. So the question is, do we have mentors? Uh, need mentors, list of project ideas. Okay, sorry, I get it. Yeah. So, yeah, we had a long-standing action item to just post project ideas and potential mentors. So similarly to what we do for JSOC project ideas, um, we can post it uh, independently of a program. So community breach, outreach, uh, Google season of dogs, so they can basically take ideas from the same pool because the program is more or less aligned in terms of duration and effort to be put. Uh, so yeah, for that, uh, yeah, if we had a pool maybe of four and or five uh, potential project ideas with uh, contributors who might be interested, it, uh, it would be already a good start. You can add me as a potential mentor. Great, okay. Yeah, uh, but make sure to bring you, uh, your own uh, potential project idea. Yeah, I have a, I have two that I can think of off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which are these ones? W one would be just the infrastructure. I mean, we could just start sub sub leasing that out, right? Uh, if that <laughs> if that's possible. Number two, uh, I think. Uh, using if we could get documentation for uh, our onboarding process in terms of like plug-in either uh, plug-in contribution I think it would be awesome if maybe we could reach out to possible uh, past Google Summer of Code students to see if they would be willing to come on to this particular project to say I want to show you how to onboard a new plugin. That's mm. just something, and I'm thinking from the top of my head. Yeah. Uh, so, any documentation for onboarding procedures would be nice. So, right now we have a landing page, Jenkins IO participate. Uh, so, but the problem that uh, if you start choosing options, you immediately get from uh, a fancy interface, the less fancy interface of Wiki, pointing uh, to whatever random links. So we still uh, have a lot to, to improve there. Well, and we have a, we do have a pending pull request on how to do IDE setup 
for plugin development. Uh, it's a pull request that was submitted a few weeks ago, still is in my queue to review. So that mm -hmm. I, I think that's the right direction, absolutely. Um, there's also, for me, there's the, in terms of ideas, there's the, oops, wrong place. The um, Git use cases that I've, I've enumerated out a whole bunch of different use cases. Um, we also had a proposal for a tutorial to be added from the LabVIEW team at National Instruments. They wanted to put up a, a tutorial and I offered, hey, yes, we'll happily code review it. Here's where you submit a pull request. Mm -hmm. And then nothing happened, right? It uh, hasn't happened yet. They only asked that one or two days ago. Oh, then. Oh, then it's fine. I think yeah. another really good idea would be Kubernetes use cases as it pertains to Jenkins. The reason I think that would be a very good idea is it would get a lot of traction because that's such a hot space right now. Right. Mm -hmm. Or even, you know, use of Jenkins X is another idea. Well, Jenkins X is now a separate site. So it's basically not Jenkins. And yeah, uh, currently, okay. Cara is working on setting up a framework for Jenkins X. So, yeah, they will definitely welcome contributions. Well, you know, another part could be sort of uh, mm -hmm. the, maybe from a documentation idea, the difference between Jenkins and Jenkins X or how to go from Jenkins to Jenkins X. So maybe if there's sort of a bridge of documentation, that, that could be, be nice. an idea. It would be nice. Yeah. So I'm yeah, actually but, having dinner with I'm having dinner with Oscar tonight. So I'm going to bring that up to him. Okay. Yeah, it would be nice. Uh, regarding Kubernetes use cases, so we had a cloud native special interest group. I'm not sure what tends to use there because right now this group is rather rather inactive. Right. I'm interested in recovering that. I just have no time. Uh, um, but yeah, uh, there is Kubernetes uh, operator project which is uh, ongoing. Uh, Sorry, yeah. I missed. I missed what you just. There was what project that's ongoing? Uh, Jenkins Kubernetes operator. Oh, oh, the Kubernetes operator project. Okay. Yeah, there is also great progress around uh, Helm charts. Though Helm charts uh, officially live outside the Jenkins organization, so they are maintained by Helm community. Mm. Uh, speaking of that, they consider doing more integrations with configuration as code. But yes, still we have a lot of things like just Kubernetes plugin, uh, whatever other yeah. integration plugins. So for me, it would be rather cloud native seek to drive that. Uh, but yeah, it can be whatever joint project. I need to get back as well. I need to get back into the cloud native SIG because uh, mm -hmm. I see that that's going to be a, a very hot area. And I think we can make it even, I use hot in a loose term, but I think we could definitely re re put a fire under there. You see where I'm bringing the whole circle of hotness here. Yeah. Uh, I think we could, uh, we could re really reinvigorate that, that SIG and, and make it a little bit more. Yeah. I'm interested. Oh well, yeah. My interest rather comes from the Jenkins file runner perspective. So yeah, it's about Kubernetes Tecton again. Uh, so yeah. Well, Jenkins file runner isn't really a Kubernetes use case, but yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, there are so many layers, so finally everything becomes Kubernetes. Yeah, well, I, but you're right. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, uh, cloud native special interest group. Uh, if you mark you or if somebody else uh, are interested to just poke with this group, it would be nice because uh, there is still pretty big mailing list. So if you just uh, start sending stuff there, maybe there will be some replies. Yeah, I'll make it. I'll make it. Uh, create a task for myself to start getting that moving again. Okay, that's cool. Great. Mm -hmm. Anything else? And so I'm going to take the project ideas we've listed here, the others that we gathered for Google's season of docs, and I will get those into a, a project ideas pull request. Mm -hmm. So, anything else on sub projects that we want to discuss?
I don't think so. So okay. maybe it's rather a problem of action. Yeah, we really need to do something. Yeah, certainly. Yep, you're right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So last item, we've got just two minutes left on our on our scheduled time. For your info, I've been gathering every two weeks data from contributors on contributors to the Jenkins.io site. I don't know if this data is useful. I just gather it in case it might someday be useful. So for example, this is from the CD, CDF site where they gather metrics. This is These are the pull request time from open to merged across the last 90 days as a moving average. The hyperlink there will take you to the graph and show you the current. Um, my read of this graph is we have improved somewhat and we don't appear to be dramatically worse than we've been in the past. So those were measures that, okay, that indicator seems reasonably healthy. The next thing that I've been capturing is contributors for the last month. And we've actually increased both in the number of contributors and the number of contributions in the last month. So that, I consider that quite a positive. This graph I like a lot better than the one from a month ago, which was fewer contributors and fewer contributions. Then uh, open pull requests, this one, the number that we have closed has increased substantially in the last month, so that's a plus. The number that we have open is also increased, and that's a, somewhat of a cause for concern. Just a reminder to those of us who are reviewers, try to close pull requests quickly. Any questions on the metrics? Well, metrics for the last month's problem are not that relevant because a lot of contributions come from Google Summer of Code. Mm -hmm. uh, well, even without Google Summer of Code, we uh, had some uh, blog posts posted. Uh, we had some uh, changes in the site. Um, but yeah, maybe it's uh, rather better to have uh, statistics for one year. Yeah, good, good suggestion. I've been gathering this one for a, a the month thing. You're thinking the this one would be good across a full year. I can't get the period of a year from GitHub, but good idea. Okay, let me see what I can do. Yeah, you can uh, use uh, the CDF uh, Grafana instance mm. because it actually provides a lot of uh, statistics, and you can uh, quote it for one year. Because yeah, 90 days. If you quit it for 90 days, uh, it's a question of how I spent the summer. And usually in summer, there is much less contributions. Good uh, point. Okay, yeah, so. and one month was crazy because of JSOC, so the data wouldn't be relevant. Right. Okay. Let me take that as a, I'll, t I'll do that, and we will increase, increase to... Uh, measure for a year, report for a year, next time. Good, we'll do that. Thank you. Yeah, so we have uh, five blog posts in the queue, which we need to handle. So yeah, I'm going to measure blog post from uh, Rick right now about uh, CLI. Okay, yes. yeah, that, one, that one's been a long time coming. Thanks very much. Well, uh, there was issue with CI because uh, CI for Jenkins IO is not uh, very stable, and yeah, it was failing for a while. No, yeah, I'm not happy that we deleted so much. All right. Any other topics that we need to review in today's session? Nothing from me. Nothing for me. All right. Thanks, everyone. I'm going to stop the recording, stop the meeting, and thanks very much. We'll meet again in two weeks, same time. Have a good day, everybody. Have a good evening and a good weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.